Hi guys, I'm Grumpy Rabbit for me. You can call me GR Grumpy Rabbit or Nay. And welcome to the third playthrough of Vacant Sky Volume 1 Contention. What we're going to be doing here is learning techniques, going through the menu, as well as leveling up and going to the Hall of Legends. Okay, first things first, we're going to go to the menu. So, right now our three characters are Arya, Zeri, and Zacrease. Our current party level is 3, we don't have any charges for awakenings, and the experience needed for the next level, as well as credits or money, health points, special points, sl slash uh, skill points. So we have items, which we don't have any right now because we're broke, no techniques, awakenings, reactions are... What you have is dodge and guard, and I'm going to go into more detail on that in a second. Equipment. What we have really are a wooden sword for our two ladies. And then this guy has a wooden sword as well, so. I guess we're supposed to kick ass with wooden swords, guys. I don't know. I guess it works somehow. Um, so let's see character status. You've got health points, special points, or skill points right there. We're along with your character. Um, intelligence, compassion, self-esteem, courage, luck, charm. Basically a little fun stuff for you. Uh, so right now we have the wooden sword and our attacks, our parameters, um, you have attack, accuracy, speed, and defense. So, for the main character, Arya, right now her parameters are very just in balance so you can pretty much go wherever you want versus other characters such as Siri where she tends to more focus and accuracy and speed so that's why she has dodge in her reactions because her speed is so high versus guard because it's a crease his defense is 64 so it makes more sense to have him as guard which is the little shield so other stuff okay leveling up so every time you increase your level your health points go up and you get a bunch of other things to do with your these points. So let's see. Um, generally, I tend to have everything be as balanced as I can, just because that's what I like to do. I don't really like to focus in one area too early on, you know. So for now, we're just gonna. There we go. Try to make things as even as possible. Mm. Eh. Eh. And... Fair enough. Okay. So we have no more to use. And then the journal is actually really freaking great when you get to those huge cities. Giant names that are hard to pronounce with characters who have giant freaking names that are also hard to pronounce. Yeah. So basically it's a little thing that gives you a description of how you are with a character, what they're doing, and these ones are towns, and what you need to do in those towns. And they're really helpful. Options. You know, options. Okay. So, the little red arrow goes away. So we're going to go to this, which is a save point again. And now we have the Hall of Legends available. So we're going to go there. Now we're going to go up to this mystic castle where the really pretty music's playing. And go talk to the fancy wizard. Here, you can unlock the seeds of power growing within you and develop new abilities. Come speak to me at any time to train a new ability. Each time you level up, you gain access to one new ability. 
Okay, how can I help you? We're gonna learn techniques. Okay, guys. Turn to the music for a bit so you guys can hear me. So, you have techniques, which you can use during battle. Passives, which are permanently there and you don't use them during battle. Reactions, which I talked about earlier, but now you have counter, and those these depend on your parameters. And then you have these other techniques. stayed and yeah that's pretty much it so we have two and here I'm gonna do this one just because I do tend to focus and attacks and I know I was kind of contradicting myself earlier with my whole thing but I'm just gonna do the these this one and probably another one for now or one of these ones but I'm gonna walk you guys through a pass first. So the description, uh, skill points that uses, but since this is a passive, it doesn't use any. The occasion is never, since it's always there. Scope, it doesn't affect anyone else or the user. It's just there permanently for the user. It doesn't require any power. It's 100% there, so that's why it's a hit. Level requirement one, special requirements none. Prerequisites are none. So we're going to do this one, and we're going to do Tough Cookie. Uh, no, not Second Wind. Oh. I'm gonna do this one. So it's powers of 25, hits 100%, level requirement, user scope. So it's when you yourself do it with you. I mean, <laughs> it affects you. Sorry, guys. Alright, there we go. So we're gonna learn that. No more to learn. So there's all these beautiful little orbs with little fancy descriptions of people. And we're gonna walk up the stairs towards the ornate door. We can enter some ornate door. And look at the weapons over the little pools of water, which we can't do anything with. And we're gonna go back. So, I know I've probably gushed a lot about the music already, but it's really awesome, especially here. It's just so tranquil. Okay. Save. Let's see if I can fit a battle in. If not, of course, I will edit that in real quick. Let's see here. 